breaking news. This man is not taking is not taking it lightly at all. I'm talking about the person of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu. As a matter of fact, he's sincerely making consultation wide and far. He has gone to see the governor of Oyo State called Sheima Kinde. Remember, Sheima Kinde is the only Southwest governor that belongs to a different party. Now there are six Southwest governors. We have the Lagos, Oshuogu, Oyo, Ekiti Anondo, and among all this, only Oyo is PDP. The rest are APC. And so, Ashiwadu Amebola Tinubi, a man that has sense, yeah? I said, you know what, eh? if I neglect and I push, you know, Sheima Kinde aside and say, yeah, I, will, I will lose this thing. He's going to consult with him, you know, and they've come up with a slogan saying, only the best is good enough. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, only the best is good enough for Nigeria now. Governor Sheima Kinde tells Tinubu as Tinubu comes to make consultation with him. Governor Sheima Kinde of Oyo on Saturday told the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, that only the best is good enough for Nigeria at this particular time. He said this when Tinubu paid him a courtesy visit. That's respect. Tinubu don't they consult. But go free uh, Sunday Boho first. Go not say you serious. Go and free Sunday Boho first. Take it seriously. Take it as your number, watch, number one watch word. Let's continue. He said this when Tinubu paid him a condolence visit over the recent death of the Olu Ibadan of Ibadan and former governor of former governor Christopher Alo Ako Akole uh, Sheima Kinde said we really thank you for this visit and we want to let you know that we have taken proper notice that you have risen above politics and all that is going around here to come and share with us at this moment that we are going we are grieving we want to say a very big thank you let me also use this opportunity to wish you well on your political quest to govern this nation. We want the best for this country, and only the best is good enough at this particular time. The nation has gone through a lot, and right now we want the best to cement, amend, and bring about, and bring about real security again, to bring Nigerians to that position where we all can live and have a better life Every one of us can go about and do what we need to do. This is time where it's most crucial for Nigerians to be able to feel safe again. A lot has gone on in the country and only the best is good enough. We are glad you came here and we see that you are a humble man and your gesture speaks true and shines true and tells us who you truly are. We are grateful for your visit and we hope and we wish you all the best that the best will become Nigerian's president in the forthcoming days. Now, this is what is happening. If you see Tunubu, the reason he went there, remember they lost the Louis Badon of Ibadan and the former governor. And what this man has done is that he's gone to make consultations. Yeah, he's gone to meet, you know, Tunubu is a wise man, if you ask me. Uh, he's a wise man. He knows what he's doing. So, I mean, a man that, when a man looks at, look, look at, every, look at every sphere, look, look at what is happening, the first thing the man does is that you understand your people. And you humble yourself, okay? You pay them visit, you look at them, you understand, you, you, you know who they are. You don't just talk to them from afar, okay? You, you, you make them understand that we are all in this together, okay? And you put the people's heart, again, you know, you bring the people's heart to you. Um, in Ibadan or your state, uh, there's been a lot going on. Uh, but again, my own point here is, what are you saying about Sunday Boho? You know exactly what is going on with this young man. You know he has not committed any crime. You know, but not a word has been said. There are things, there are indications, and there are indices that points to us when a man is, you know, is honestly sincere and wants to make a change with regards to issues on ground. You know, a lot of things have been going on in the country, and you know, the Southwest have stood behind, uh, you know, especially that they are from the same party, have stood behind Tinobo and have said Tinobo will be the one to represent the Southwest. However, what's going on here? Are we going to continue with the same with the same things we usually do and expect things to change? 
It's not going to be business as usual. If we want things to change, then we have to warm up to it and we have to do right by the people. If you want to lead, then show us that you've got what it takes, the competence. For me, I don't really think it's age, but I think that everybody or anybody who wants to get to that position must be able to prove to Nigerians you know, that he's ready and it must show in every way, ratification, however it goes. Nigerians, we are tired of promises being made at us and nothing being done. Look at insecurity, for instance. That, that's, I mean, that's an eyesore, okay? If you look at the videos that are making rounds on Facebook, please look for them and see them yourself. These boys are roaming free and um, they are doing this because nobody's speaking. Nobody's speaking for the people. The people have become... You know, they're in that position where people are scared, can no longer go about their life or do what they need to do because we've got no leadership whatsoever. This has to come to an end. And everybody has got a duty in all of this, you see. So, I mean, it's good he's gone to meet Tinubu. Um, Tinubu has gone to meet Shea Makinde. However, so the matter is everybody has got a contribution to make to ensure that we move forward. We cannot continue with the same set of people and all that is going on and expect that things will just change, you know, that, that's it. At some point, things must change. And that change has to be deliberate. That change has to be intentional, okay? That change has to be intentional. Every one of us have got a part to play, to bring to it, to see to it that we are no longer where we used to be because, um, you know, what's happening now shows to every one of us that there are people who are ready to hold on and to take this nation over to become theirs. But what are you doing? What am I doing? Are we just going to sit back, okay, and do nothing? I beg your pardon. The answer is no. So the time to act, the time to do something about that is now. Because if we do nothing, then whatever happens, we cannot speak because we've not, you know, articulately, we've not done anything particular you know, to change the situation, okay, to change the situation. So that's what we have to do, rising up to the occasion and ensuring that we bring about a change, genuine change, okay, we bring about a genuine change. Listen, guys, every one of us have got a part to play in here, every one of us, every one of us must give our own contribution to bring about an end to this current predicament. Leave us a comment. Do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.